Hey everybody, today I'm going to share with you a recipe that I really love. It's one of my favorite soup recipes. It's simple to make, it doesn't take a lot of ingredients, and uh, it's just really flavorful and delicious. So, what you need is a pound of breakfast sausage, and this is just what I had on hand. Um, any kind will do and if you like hot sausage I'm sure that would uh, work well in it but I don't care for hot sausage so just crumble up a pound of uh, sausage put it in your pot and let it um, uh, brown and uh, if it doesn't have a lot of grease go ahead and leave your grease in it but if you don't care for any grease then take it out but this made very little grease it probably doesn't have a tablespoonful so I'm leaving that in so I'll go ahead and put you down here where you can see excuse all this mess but it's just a messy day so I have my um, sausage browned up and to that I'm going to add a can of tomato sauce you could also add a can of crushed tomatoes if you want but instead of the sauce but I prefer the sauce and then add one can of water to that and give it a stir and then I like to add zucchini which this is uh, two pounds if you don't care for zucchini you could probably use cabbage green beans cauliflower uh, I don't think broccoli may not work too well crook neck squash um, just whatever you prefer but I'm putting this two pounds of zucchini in and if I haven't said it before this is probably my favorite soup recipe and stir that up and this does make um, a good amount of juice from the zucchini and to that I'm going to add some dehydrated onions if you want to put um, fresh onion in it that's fine too probably close to half a cup between a, a third of a cup then I'm going to add some basil which I, you know I love basil and add what you like if you only like a little spice only add a little if you like a lot then add a lot i'm putting some garlic powder in and for a little more onion flavor some onion powder and then you could add salt and pepper now or you could add it when uh, you put it in your bowl and so I'm stirring that all up. That's all that it takes until we serve it. And then I'll show you what I do at the time I serve it. But I like to let this simmer real, real low for at least a couple hours. And um, that's it. So when this finishes cooking, I'll come back and show you. Let me move the spoon. I'm trying to give you a closer look at what it looks like. So, we will let it cook, and I'll see you back in a minute. Hey, y'all. The soup's finished, and it uh, turned out really good. I haven't tried it, but I can tell by looking it's going to be really good and full of flavor. And if you don't care for zucchini or uh, sausage or things like that, you may not like the soup as much as I do. But if you like um, 
these things in your soup, then you will really love this soup, and I just uh, totally enjoy it. And I'm gonna show you how I eat it, but I wanna bring you down, see if you can see in the pot. That's not really gonna work. There, maybe you can see like that, and it cooked for about three hours on a very low simmer. So, that's that. One day I'll do better with the camera, but it's not today. So, I went ahead and got me some in a bowl here. You really can't see. Anyway, what I'm going to do is put some salt and pepper. Oh, that looks like a lot. And stir it up. And then, you do not have to do this to enjoy it. I just think it makes it have a, a much richer flavor, but I like to put a little half and half in it. You don't need to put a whole lot. This is probably a fourth of a cup of half and half I put in it. And you wouldn't believe the richness it gives by putting that in it. So now, I'm gonna get a taste, and I hope it's not too hot. Mm. It is so good. I'll take this pot of soup and make like four or five servings out of it and put it in bowls and stick it in the refrigerator. And then when someone wants some, they can just pull it out and and uh, stick it in the microwave and have it. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. Hope you have a great weekend, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.